everyone, this is Ranger Rob, and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And, uh, hope you're having a great day. On our channel, we talk about homesteading and growing food, and we're going to talk about rationing and waste a little bit today. So in my hands here, I'm carrying some stuff for a couple of reasons. Uh... One is for the compost bin. Uh, the other is some leftover um, French bread that uh, we didn't use at all. Now in the past, uh, especially when I was living in Arizona, I just throw that stuff away. And a lot of these old banana peels and old stuff that were, you know, when we're going through uh, vegetables, you might have a bad spot or something like that. Just throw that away. Not anymore. Uh, I cannot express um, how much waste sharing I have eliminated with just a little bit of a mindset and changing our paradigms. And uh, I was just looking at little things like, you see our potatoes here. Well. We just haven't got around to getting them out of there. Do you think they'll go to waste? Nope, not at all. Or all these tomato plants that we didn't get the green tomatoes off and stuff, they'll go in the compost bin. I tell you, we uh, seriously eliminated a lot of waste. Oh, so, uh, apparently I've got a, <laughs> I've got a, come here puppies, I'll tell you what, we'll do this, we're going to give uh, a little bit of bread to both the dogs, so, Belle, come here, come here, sit down guys, one for Belle, all right, now, we'll give the rest of the bread to the chickens, they're all patiently waiting, I tear this up a little bit. Whip this up a little. Open these up. Sorry about the bouncing of the camera, but uh, sometimes when you're doing vlogs, you sometimes wish you had three hands. So the next thing we're gonna do, we got my cutters. We're gonna go in here and go steal a couple of corn stalks for the pigs. Alright guys, so I got a couple of corn stalks. There's the little piggies. <laughs> Think they're <laughs> Think they're a little excited. Let's get this one off the wire. Come on, piggies. Come on. Come on. They're kind of crazy today. Bell likes running with them. But, uh...
So the point I'm trying to make with this video is, you know the old saying, waste not, want not. So uh, I've been watching a lot of homesteaders. They're always talking about reducing waste and enriching our soils. And uh, turns out, uh, I gotta put my stuff back. Turns out that a lot of th things we throw away, things that uh, die in the garden, will just uh, regenerate itself as as food for others and uh, also uh, uh, add to the soil. And uh, so Sherry and I have, uh, I mean, really reduced, I've noticed, in fact, the way I've noticed it so much is uh, since we take our own garbage to the garbage dump, you know, uh, when we first got here, gosh, it seemed like we had to go to the garbage dump a lot. But now, I don't know how many times we've had something that we would normally throw away. Uh, we would uh, realize it's functional. It can be added to soil or given to our chickens and now our pigs. Having the pigs has been great. Uh, of course, they turn that into obviously pork and they turn it into waste, which in turn gets returned to the ground and enriches our soil. So, uh, uh, one of the things that's been talked about is, you know, we've become very wasteful as Americans. Uh, well, not just Americans either. And so much garbage and packaging. I've noticed we try to buy more bulk things, which means less packaging. Uh, the only thing I haven't been able to eliminate is cardboard. Um, because we live out in the country a ways, uh, and some really uh, nice stores, you might say, aren't available to us uh, that close, it's smarter for us to just uh, order it online. And so, of course, it takes packaging to do that. But when we buy meat, things like that in quantities, a lot less packaging. Um, and so, uh, I mean, when it comes to things that break down as food or compost, we're nailing it. We're really doing well. Uh, the things we're still got to work on, I'm sure other people have to too, is trying to use less, uh, less paper, less uh, packaging, less cardboard if we could. Um, and then when it comes to building things, I don't always have to use new wood. Uh, I'm beginning to have, I'm finding when I hold on to my scraps, I'm finding I'm using more of it. So uh, I always keep wood, new wood here for projects and I got wood on the side of our house. And uh, even when we're cutting things here in the shop, which is a mess, uh, we always have uh, lots of scrap pieces of wood. I'll be surprised, <laughs> I'm surprised how many times I've gone into that pile. And uh, yeah, so, and then being more conservative with energy, power, uh, how much water we use. And even though I have my own well, I still try to conserve our water. And so uh, I'm kind of hoping that uh, if not anything, it makes you guys think about how much waste or how much uh, things we throw away that can be reused in one way or another, uh, even in the small apartment or townhouse or condo, you can create your own little compost bin. And no, they're not that smelly. Uh, depends on if you, you could put a little bit of stuff in it, throw a couple of wood chips from a bag into the top of it, keep the smell down, just like a compost toilet. They don't smell. And uh, create some of your own, your own soil. And if you don't use it for planting, go spread it out someplace where it could use some enrichment of soil. Uh, it's all good. I mean, you don't have to always just do compost for your own property. If I had extra compost, I'll take it down to a 
a park or a, uh, a forest or something like that that could use the extra nutrients. Or maybe, you know, some people that are gardeners down the road. Make your own little compost and go donate it to them. Maybe it'll give you some eggs or something. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. But, yeah. <sighs> Learning not to waste has really not been that hard. All it's been is changing our habits, shopping differently, and realizing, uh, especially with food waste and things like that, how much of that stuff can be returned to the earth. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing to think about it. So I, I hope this inspired you a little bit. I hope it gives you an idea that uh, we don't ask people to do anything we're not trying to do ourselves. Are you going to be perfect at it? No. Can you decrease your waste by 5-10%? That's awesome. <laughs> um, if you can do more than that, that's even better. But if we all just try a little bit, uh, try not to waste materials, uh, try to reuse things and even with the Ranger Rob poopy bags, just because I make the Ranger Rob poopy bags and I have as many as I want, we still try to be conservative. And when we go pick up waste in our grass and stuff, we will use a bag like a like a glove, and use a bigger bag um, to uh, uh, add it all in there, and uh, only use the bags as they get kind of worn out as we're picking up poop in our yard. So we don't waste Ranger Rob poopy bags. And uh, another thing we're building, and I really haven't shared it with you, is we are creating a compost bin for our dog's waste. So when we pick up the waste, we go around and we have a bigger bag, and we use Ranger Rob poopy bags to pick up the waste and put it in the bigger bag. And then we throw it away in the garbage. Well, that's just going to our landfills, right? Well, now, once I get all the materials and I have to dig a hole, um, I'm putting a bucket into the ground with holes in it and layering it and putting uh, like an additive, like a, uh, what do they call that stuff? Um, well, stuff you add to septic tanks um, to uh, add bacteria to it and break it down just like a regular septic tank. And uh, uh, can I use it for growing and stuff like that? We could, there is a process where you could, but no, I'm going to let it go into the ground. Uh, once it's breaking down properly, it's just as healthy as a septic tank is to a field uh, when it's nutrients and everything, and everything's broke down bio-wise. So uh, uh, we're going to do the same thing with our dog waste. So that'll reduce our waste that we take to the landfill. Um, and so, yeah, we're working on all kinds of things and we're trying to get better every day. And so uh, I hope you're inspired to do the same. Uh, it's just like when we go to clean this, these pine needles off the concrete, um, it goes into our compost bins. We add it to fields. It's a great additive to soil. And uh, uh, Sherry is going to do one more mowing and now the leaves are kind of almost done falling she's going to run the lawnmower through here and ours is a mulching lawnmower and this will get blended into the grass makes the grass healthier and the soil richer so uh anyway food for thought people so uh guys have a great day thank you for watching please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world that really does help us out uh, just try it once. Share our videos. We'd really appreciate it. It really does help. And if you really want to help us, grab some of our Ranger Rob poopy bags on Amazon. That'll help us too. So we appreciate it. So guys, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob poopy bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.